To win a free pool cue, go to my YouTube channel. Then simply subscribe, like, and share. That's it. Good luck. Philly Fingers here, going over a drill that can help you improve your stroke. The drill I like to use to improve my stroke is the full table stop shot. It's pretty straightforward. You set up one ball at one end of the table and the cue ball at the other end, leaving yourself enough distance where you're comfortable. And then you just try to drop down on the shot and hit a perfect stop shot. The thing about this drill that I like is that not only does it help you kind of find your stroke and get you into a nice rhythm and a nice pattern, but it helps expose any flaws you have in your current stroke or in your current swing. And that's what you're going to see here is I'm going to be able to show you how my stroke went from a before and an after look. Here as I'm kind of just dropping down on the shot, uh, my pre-shot is a little off. It needs some work and you'll see that in the results. Although I make the ball, that isn't always enough, right? Sometimes we just get caught up on making the ball. But did we make it with the perfect form, as accurate as we wanted to be? All these other intangibles sometimes get lost just because we made the ball. And we can't become complacent, right? We want to always push ourselves for perfection. For me, the biggest thing that I'm changing is here where you see I just drop down in the shot and I just kind of fire it. Um, I'm going to change my approach to the ball and how I line up. That's going to be the big change. So in this example here, you're going to see my new approach. And my new approach is pretty straightforward, but different. Um, I line up with the cue stick first. I point at the ball. I find that shot line, and I don't move the stick. I just drop down into the shot, and I fire. I don't even do a pre-stroke. You can do a pre-stroke if you want. Uh, it's optional. But I find if I can trust that line, I don't need to even do a pre-stroke, right? I'm confident going all the way through. So first I did the stop shot. Here on the two ball, I'll do a stun shot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the rack and I'm gonna alternate between a stop, the stun, and here on the three ball, I'm gonna do a draw, and then on the four ball, a follow shot. And all I do for the whole rack is alternate, right? So I've done the first two. Here in the three ball, you're gonna see same approach. I point, I leave the stick where it is, I just drop into the shot, and I fire the trigger, right? And I draw back. That's the only difference, is that that was a draw shot. So four ball, I now wanna do the same approach. I wanna stay kind of robotic. I wanna just point, find the line, drop into that line. No pre-stroke, maybe I'll do one, maybe do two. Again, it's optional, but I follow it right into the hole. And that helps me practice my follow shot. So for the remainder of the rack, that's all I do. I alternate between those four different types of shots. And I'm not gonna play the whole thing, because obviously that would be a little bit boring to watch. The main point is really just to introduce you to this kind of a drill where you're alternating between these four different types of shots and really the approach, right? My kind of change in using the cue stick to find the line, but to leave it where it is and instead to kind of drop into the shot. And at that point, whether you do a pre-stroke or not, that's optional, but you basically are trusting that line and firing the trigger. So give this drill a try. Um, either mix it up with other shots. You can try different variations. Uh, you can try, like I said, with pre-stroke without um, walking into the shot versus, again, pointing with the cue. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it's working, what's not working, and when to go back to basics. I want to show you this example of what just happened to me recently, where I was first going to practice by just breaking a set of balls and trying to run out. Now this is something I'm sure many of you do all the time and don't give it a second thought. But for me, in this one instance, I had to look at it very differently. With the balls now spread, I go through my usual routine of looking at the pattern and trying to see what ball do I want to start with. In this case, I'm going to attempt the 15 in the corner. A very simple shot, a very straightforward shot, a shot I should have no problem with. And what do we see? Right out of the gate, I miss the shot. That right there is a flag. That right there told me I need to stop playing and I need to go back to basics. So as you can see, I just brush all the balls aside and I decide to run what I call a lazy man's drill.
Now in this drill, what I do is I just take a ball, put it up table, take the cue ball, and I just practice going back to basics, lining up my shot, and just pocketing the ball in the corner. I could pocket the ball with a stop shot, a little bit of follow, maybe practice draw, but at first I just want to start basic with a stop shot. Now I call this the lazy man's drill because I don't go get my cue ball and reset. I just grab any object ball and I replace the cue ball for that object ball. And then I just stay there practicing my stop shot. And again, take any ball at random, use that as the cue ball and continue to practice that alignment. Continue practicing that stroke. And I can alternate. It uh, doesn't have to be a stop shot. Um, I'll go through the rack and I may do some follow shots. I may do some draw shots. Whatever I feel at the time I need to really work on. The idea is just to get my alignment down. And since no one's perfect, every once in a while, as you see here, I may miss a shot. But I never stop. You just grab another ball, you set it right back up, and you continue. Long story short, you just kind of want to continue this drill on and on and on until you really feel like you found your alignment again. Like you found your stroke, you're back in rhythm. You may want to even try moving the cue ball around. So in this case, I'm going to not only pocket the ball, but I want to move the two ball closer to the center of the table. So there's a lot of different variations you can do with this kind of a drill. And it basically helps you to find the little flaws in your stroke. As I go through the rack, I start to notice little things, whether it's about the placement, whether it's about the stroke itself, could be my stance, could be my eye pattern. Am I looking at the cue ball versus the object ball? There's so many different factors that this lets me then reassess and get a new sense of, am I slipping and regressing back to doing something that I shouldn't? And staying focused on working in the proper procedure. I also recommend when you're doing this, if possible, to videotape yourself. Because when you look back, you start to see some of the things that you may not notice when you're actually at the table and down in front of the shop. Everything then comes down to repetition, right? It's just about practice, putting in that time, and shooting the shots over and over again. Here I'm going to practice my follow shot. I want to make sure that I'm following a ball directly into the pocket. And then in some cases, I want to even practice my bank shots. So now with that two that I missed earlier, I'm just going to practice banking. And lastly, I recommend doing this from all corners of the table. So where you saw me shoot from one side, I also go around the entire table and I want to do the same drill on all four corners of the table. I don't want to get too accustomed to only one view, one angle, one position. Um, depending on if you're righty or lefty, you also want to switch sides, right? You want to try both sides. This is my lazy man drill that I do whenever I feel that I'm off and I need to reset and go back to basics. In the comments, let me know if you guys have other drills that you do for the same reasons. What other tips, tricks, or techniques do you do when you feel that you have to hit the reset button? Thanks for watching, and until next time.